Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is John with Smart Home Mojo, and this video is the second in a series of short five minute videos we're doing on features of the Nest Learning Thermostat. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about scheduling and controlling the Nest Learning Thermostat. Now, before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel right now, hit that bell icon, and also please leave comments on this video. We try to respond to all comments in a very timely fashion. Okay, now we're talking about scheduling and controlling the Nest Learning Thermostat. Now, I've been using the Nest Learning Thermostat for years, and I've experienced that clearly the easiest way to control any of the settings to set a schedule on the Nest Learning Thermostats is using the app on a smartphone. I've tried all the solutions. I've used a tablet and other mobile devices, and the easiest and most effective way to control the Nest Learning Thermostat is using the app on a smartphone. So let's not delay any further. Let's get right into setting up a schedule on the smartphone using the Nest app. Okay, so here we are on my smartphone and I've turned it horizontal for a reason. When you go into the Nest application and click on schedule, it always portrays and shows the schedule in a horizontal fashion. So I'll show you here. So let's go ahead and go into the Nest icon, which is this blue icon with a white house. And we've got two thermostats here is when this shows up here. So let's just go into the downstairs one. And now what will happen is here's the thermostat. On the right hand side, you have some options here. So the calendar day with a time here is the schedule. So let me click on that and up will come the schedule. And so you've got your days of the week, Monday through Sunday on the left, and then the times from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. down here, down in the bottom here, the whole day. So it's very easy to add here. So we're just gonna show you how to do it. Within like two minutes here, you'll have a whole schedule here. So I'm gonna click on Monday at our first time, and down in the bottom right, you've add or remove. I'm gonna add. And then a grid pops up. It says, where do you want to add it? Well, let's just, let's just tap somewhere. We can change it. So as soon as we tap there, it was 7 a.m. at 75 degrees. Well, let's change that to 730 and 78 degrees. So what you do is you put your, tap it on your finger, and you have an option right, to go left, right for the time or up, down for the temperature. So as soon as you go left or right or up and down, the other one goes away. You can't do both at the same time. So let's change this to 730 a.m. and then release our finger. Now the time is right, let the temperature is not. We want 78 degrees. So we'd hit it again, but we go up the, up or down this time, right? You can, so we're gonna go up to 78. So that should say 7.30 a.m. I want it 78 degrees in the house. Let's add another one at 9 p.m. Let's drop it down to 73 degrees. So let's tap on it again and make sure it says 73 degrees. And let's make sure it says 9 p.m. Okay, it's 9 p.m. So what we just added is two times. We added a time at 7.30 in the morning at 78 degrees for the day, and then at night around 9 o'clock to change to 73 degrees so it's cooler at night when we're sleeping. Okay, so now we have our two time and temperatures on Monday. So it's 78 in the morning at 7.30 and then 73 at night. Let's go ahead and copy that. There's no need to go into each day and add those like we just did for Monday. We can copy it. So if we put our finger on Monday, a couple of options will come up. Copy, paste, and clear. Let's copy and then hold our finger on Tuesday until paste comes up and we paste. So you could do this four times or as many times as you want. If you want the same schedule throughout the week, you could do the same schedule throughout the week. No, it's very, it's very easy. Let's say we wanted to change the times a little later in the morning on Saturday and Sunday. So I think the easiest thing might, might be to do would be to just paste it there and then go into Saturday and then edit the time to say, hey, look, I want 78 degrees, but I'm gonna sleep in a little bit, change it to 9 a.m. Uh, and keep you know, 73 degrees until a little later in the morning. So there we have 78 degrees, same kind of schedule, but a little later. So let's copy Saturday over to Sunday now. And it's that easy. So now we've got a slightly, slightly different schedule on Saturday and Sunday that we had Monday through Friday. Now, it's very easy to add times and temperatures. If we wanted to clear a couple things, let's show you how to clear it real quickly. If you put your finger on any day, you can hit clear day, and it'll ask you below, do you want to clear it? Yes, let's do it again. Wednesday, you put your finger on there and hold it. Clear day, yes. Let's say on Friday, though, we're going to come home and, and be home for two hours from 12 to 2, and we don't want it 78, we want it 73. So you just go into Friday. Again, you could add more temperatures. So we're going to add one around 12. So let's see here, we're gonna do, I just put my finger there, we're gonna put 73 degrees and then we wanna do it from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So there's noon, dropping it from 78 to 73 and then we're gonna add another one, I'm just gonna tap here and then change it. 
to we're going to go back up to 78 when we leave the house at 2 p.m. Oh, at 2 p.m. Okay, so there we just added. So on Friday, we'll be home for two hours, but when we're home, we want it cooler. So I just added a drop down and then back up to 78 until uh, the evening. And so if I like that calendar schedule, let's say I'm going to do that on Monday and Wednesday and I want it cool, I'm going to copy Friday's schedule now up to Wednesday. And let's say, let's just bring back Tuesday's schedule to Thursday here. Make the date, make the week complete. So there we go. So on two days, Wednesday and Friday, we dropped the temperature during the day a couple of, a couple of degrees for a couple of hours. We adjusted the time on Saturday and Sunday so we could sleep a little later and for it to be 73 and not 78 yet. And uh, we showed you how to copy, copy days from one day to the next, add multiple times in one day, uh, and also clear data, right? So let's go ahead and just clear one. So you just put your finger there, clear, and you're done. So there it is. It's very simple to do using the app on the smartphone. It's not as easy to do all that we just did on the, on the smartphone app when you go right up to the wall and begin to program it on the Nest thermostat. It certainly can be done. A little bit more challenging, a little bit more time consuming. Not as easy to copy and paste days from one day to the next on the, on the thermostat exactly on the wall as opposed to quickly doing it right here in the application. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. We covered a lot here in terms of setting up a schedule using the Nest app on a smartphone. We looked at all aspects of setting up a schedule. We looked at putting in times and schedules. We looked at copying schedules from one day to the next and also clearing times and schedules from certain days and also clearing certain days. Now on the example we covered, we used the cool mode, but there is a heat mode and also a heat and cool mode that you can use as well. So before we go, please take a quick second again and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, and leave any comments you have on any portion of what we covered today around scheduling and controlling the Nest thermostat. This is John from Smart Home Mojo. Thanks for watching today, and we'll catch you on the next video.